Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about one of my subscriber who got a work from home fresher job and that to wait a 10 lakhs per annum. So this was a time period when he was very happy and I would be telling you why I did not like this decision of him of getting a job of 10 lakhs per annum because after some time he himself was frustrated with the same job so in this video we would be seeing about the situation in detail as a fresher when you are getting a very good job and that too with a work from home or a remote kind of job opportunity should you take it should you accept it or not so let me tell you about this experience in detail because he had connected with me on top mate wherein people are connecting these days with me regarding uh, sharing their career guy uh, sharing their experiences sharing their uh, about the success stories and they are also connecting with me if they are looking for any kind of career guidance one is to one mentorship so topmate is one of the platform wherein with all your support with all your uh, you know grace and with all your love the recently our channel has crossed nearly 3000 bookings on topmate right so if you can see on this uh, topmate i am having multiple uh, services there are various digital products that has been launched on Women's Day. We had uh, launched the testing interview questions free of cost on Women's Day. And then the products are other products are also there. And there are other calls as well that you can connect with me via TopMate. Right. So let's go back to this particular experience itself, wherein a fresher was there and he had joined a company with 10 lakhs per annum. So as a fresher, when you get a job opportunity with 10 lakhs per annum and that to a remote kind of a job opportunity. So should you accept it or not? So let me explain you what happened to him. So he was placed in a Bangalore based product based company. Yes, you heard it right. It was 9.5 to 10 lakhs per annum, including the variable bonus. And then it was a fully remote job for him. So initial, if you will see four to five months, he was very happy. And this happened during the pandemic when it was 2021. And he was very happy initially four to five months. He was uh, feeling that uh, he's, he's at, you know, at his own, he's living his life in a very calm manner, in a very extraordinary manner. And slowly and gradually what happened is, uh, he started evaluating his work. He started analyzing his work. What is his understanding? And what is the kind of work that he's getting? So what happened is he was working in a SAP based product. So the project was depending on the SAP, SAP based things. And in SAP as people who are aware, so it's good if you're not aware, then just Google it up what is SAP, what is SAP and how it is very important. So SAP is a very big thing and it's an ocean kind of a technology you can say in which if you don't have nearly 80% or 90% of knowledge then you won't be able to test 100% of knowledge is impossible right if you don't have 80% of knowledge you won't be able to test because as a tester it becomes very important that you understand the domain properly and then only you would be able to test that particular application or a software in the extraordinary manner so now it was an SAP based project and he was given the KT when he had joined that particular company he was given the KT just for four days. In four days, he was given some KT. He was given some videos, tutorials to go through and that's it. And later on, after four months, he came to know that that was just a 10% of what the work he had understood. So ultimately what happened? He was not able to work properly he was not able to do the things in an expected manner because he was not having product knowledge itself because during the kt period there were other people there were other folks colleagues who played some K, uh, who played some politics with him and they did not give him the sufficient kt so that he can learn because in a company you know at times you come across these toxic people who are scared who are worrying that if they will tell you everything then they will not be able to do this kind of job opportunity or they will not get that much of hike because you would be a competitor for them so this kind of things do happen in the corporate world so ultimately what happened is he 
was not able to work. He was uh, just working there and he was just getting some XYZ amount of salary. As I mentioned, your salary was too good, a remote based job, work based. So slowly and gradually what happened is 1.5 years got over. And now he started looking job because he realized that if he will be sit sitting in this particular environment, he will never ever grow. Correct. So these things do happen in the life of people when they are freshers, they do search for a remote based jobs and they get a job and then they feel to the cloud nine, right? That I have got this job. I have made it. I have got 10 lakhs per annum. That was my dream. But it is very important that apart from the financial growth, you should also have the growth in terms of your knowledge. You should also have the growth in terms of the technical skills, the soft skills. So every day, every, I would suggest every three months, you should assess yourself. You should see where you were there in last three months and now where you are. And what is the learning curve? What is the graph? It, is it going down or is it going up with respect to your learnings, with respect to your knowledge curve? Is it increasing or not? So such kind of things are very important. See, I'm sharing this kind of uh, stories with you. I'm sharing this kind of experiences with you because I don't want you to be falling in the same trap, right? Such kind of stories, such kind of incidents, it does happen when I'm connecting with someone on a talkmate call. Those are two hours of call, but it becomes uh, very important that I'm making this story in a very crisp format and I'm keeping it before you so that you don't make the same mistake. You don't repeat the same mistake that was done by one of my subscriber, right? So see, on the thumbnail, I had kept that pressure work from home got 10 lakhs per annum. But why I wanted you to watch this video was the reason behind this. And that's why I kept this kind of attractive thumbnail so that you click on this video, you watch this video till the end, right? And you know what is important for you in your career. If Especially if you're a fresher, you should go to the office, you should meet your colleagues, you should have a word with your senior colleagues, you should come to know, you'll, you'll come to know by having a conversation with them, what kind of culture, what kind of corporate things are happening in the companies. Because at your home, you would be living in one kind of comfort zone. It would be difficult to have those kind of, get those kind of ideas of what's happening in the office. So it's very important. If you are a fresher, you should never dream for getting a remote job until unless you have some uh you know kind of a uh, sickness or you have some issues with your health and the doctors have advised you to work from home then this is a separate case i won't comment on those kind of things and i'll pray that your health becomes very uh, good and you get well soon but apart from that you should definitely go to office because as a fresher you'll come to know what is the difference between college and the corporate world yeah, and that's the day when you will realize that college life was so good compared to the corporate that we have. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.